Hey, good morning and welcome to this session of your pathology lecture series. Now, this series of lectures is being done by me, Sri Kumar. I am a professor of uh, pathology at Massa University and uh, I also am the director for research and postgraduate studies here. Now, I've taken over 18,000 hours of face-to-face uh, -face and online teaching for medical undergraduate students, postgraduate students and also for various competitive exams like USMLE and PLAB and students who have completed their MBBS abroad and returned to India to finish their uh, qualifying exams for their internship. So today's lecture is the first in a series of general pathology lectures that I'm going to take and I'm going to talk about cell injury, fundamental concepts. So what am I going to do today is basically talk a little about what we see in this Prezi slide. Today's session is the first session on cell injury. And I'm actually going to start up with a brief warm up on how our body functions and how we are what we are. And then we'll go on into actual fundamentals of cell injury, the causes, the mechanisms, and what happens inside the cell. And then I'm going to talk about reversible injury in this session. And later on in the next session, I would move on to irreversible injury and uh, the two patterns of cell injury, apoptosis and necrosis and types of necrosis. So these are basically the learning objectives of the first two sessions that you're going to hear from me. So I hope you guys have a good time. At various points, I may use videos in my sessions and my videos usually are uh, Dolby 5.1 surround sound. However, in this lecture, I don't start with videos. I'll probably have them in the next session, but I hope that you guys can uh, enjoy the audio in the videos with a better computer graphics card. Okay, so we start with what you see here. You see the human body. Now, we all are what we are because of what you see here. bones muscles which gives us the perfect shape that we have and we function normally because of the shape that god has created us with but as much as we have a perfect body the body functions because of the organs inside the body such as the liver the kidney the spleen the stomach heart lungs all these function with perfect efficiency to make sure that our body, what you see on the left side, functions well. Now, for these organs to function, the cells inside them have to function. Each organ is composed of millions of cells. And each cell looks like this. Now, for those of you who are into basic pathology introduction, this is a nucleus and this is a cytoplasm. Every cell has a nucleus and cytoplasm. Follow my arrow. A nucleus and a cytoplasm a nucleus and a cytoplasm, nucleus and a cytoplasm. So every cell has a nucleus and a cytoplasm. The nucleus is stained purple due to the stain hematoxylin and the cytoplasm is stained pink due to the stain eosin. These are basic concepts in pathology. So our organs function because the cells function properly. So now let's look at the picture from left to right. Our body functions well because of the various organs inside that make the body function well. And the organs function well because the cells inside each have a different role and a function. And collectively, they cause the body to be alive. However, if anything happens to the cell, any form of injury that causes a damage not only to the cell, but also to the organs above here. And any damage to the organs is going to damage the body and that causes disease so pathology in other words is a study of disease and when you combine pathology and pharmacology together you get medicine so when anything happens to the cell that damages it it leads to a disease it leads to cell injury it leads to cell death now what is the extent to which a cell can control itself before getting damaged there are numerous causes of cell injury. It could be anything as simple as a physical violence. Somebody gets hurt. Somebody experiences an injury. Or 
anything as complicated as a subtle genetic mutation where the child is born normal we don't realize that the child is abnormal but as the child grows up the child manifests with mental retardation and at that point we realize that there is something wrong and this something wrong is a damage in the dna of the cell and that itself causes an injury we call this a mutation so there are numerous causes of cell injury 